All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about the herb Tongue Cat Ali and how you can use it today in order to improve hormone function. So let's dive right in. All right, so Tongue Cat Ali is actually an herb that is also known as Uracoma longifolia, and it's native to Indonesia and has been used for thousands of years for hormonal health and vitality and just energy in general. So the six health benefits that we're gonna be talking about today are one, Tongkat Ali's ability to reduce stress. The second one we're going to talk about is its ability to improve sexual health. The third one we're going to talk about is its ability to improve and increase fertility. Uh, the fourth thing we're going to talk about is its ability to decrease estrogen activity in the body. The fifth thing we're going to talk about is its ability to increase testosterone. And then the sixth thing that we're going to talk about is its ability to increase power output and lean mass. So again, the number one health benefit of Tongue Cat Alley is its ability to reduce stress. And so this study right here actually showed Tongue Cat Ali's ability to reduce the effects and symptoms of stress by up to 15%. And specifically, it actually showed the ability to reduce the symptoms of stress when it comes to tension, anger, and confusion. Now, the researchers of this study uh, used kind of like a self-reporting system in order to measure these reduction in these symptoms. So it's not the best study in the world. However, there was a specifically marked reduction in cortisol by 16%. And so for those of you that are familiar with cortisol, know that it's your primary stress hormone. And so when you're able to reduce levels of cortisol in your body, whether that be through supplementation, or other lifestyle factors and lifestyle hacks, uh, you can actually reduce the symptoms and the perception of stress in your life. And so again, with Tongue Cat Alley being able to reduce the levels of cortisol in the body by 16%, which isn't to be honest, a massive percentage. However, it is statistically relevant. And so for those of you that are looking for a way to lower cortisol, uh, Tonka Ali is a great option. And I would say one of the best options just behind ashwagandha and phosphatidylserine. Now, the second health benefit that is associated with Tonka Ali intake is improvement in the markers of sexual health. Now, this study right here that was performed over a time span of about 12 weeks um, and was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study of over 100 participants showed a slightly statistically relevant increase in all parameters of sexual health by 15%, which again, really isn't that remarkable when it comes to a relative improvement in symptoms. However, the huge thing to note about this study in particular is that it was actually performed in healthy participants. Now, the reason this is such a big deal is because most of the studies that are out there on specific compounds that have been traditionally used for sexual improvement and hormonal health in general are usually used in infertile subjects. And that's because most of the time these researchers are trying to see if compounds and natural compounds and even pharmaceuticals for that matter have the ability to treat a known condition, symptom, or disease. But in this study in particular, again, they used healthy subjects. And so when you see a 15% increase in all parameters of sexual health and hormonal health, it implies that there's something special about what this herbal compound is able to do and how it's able to affect the body. Now, the third health benefit of Tonkat Ali is its effects on increasing and improving fertility. This study right here showed a relative improvement in sperm quality by an average of 45%. And again, the interesting thing here is that this study was also performed in healthy subjects. And so you have some participants that are going through the study that aren't deficient when it comes to fertility. However, they went through the study and at the end of the study had an improvement in sperm quality and motility. So the fourth health benefit of Tongue Cat Ali is a decrease in estrogen activity. Now we don't have any clinical research at this point on Tongue Cat Ali's effect on estrogen in human trials. However, we do have a slew of in vitro studies and rodent models. And what you see in these models is a remarkable ability of Tongue Cat Ali to actually bind to the estrogen receptor and almost completely prevent the 
the effects of estrogen once estrogen bind to those receptors. And so it essentially is preventing estrogen from carrying out its physiological effects in the body. Now, in this study right here, the researchers actually compared it to tamoxifen, which is one of the kind of gold standard pharmaceuticals when it comes to treating breast cancer and fighting breast cancer. And so tamoxifen is a pharmaceutical grade selective estrogen receptor modulator. And so when the researchers actually compared Tungkat Ali to tamoxifen in this study, they found that they were almost exactly comparable in their effects on breast cancer cells. And so although we don't have any clinical research on uh, Tungkat Ali's effects on the estrogen receptor once it actually gets into the body, so we don't have any in vivo uh, clinical trials, because Tungkat Ali had such a potent ability to block the estrogen receptor in rat models and in vitro models, it leads me to believe that some of the effects that we're seeing in these healthy participants when it comes to sexual health, fertility, and anti-stress come down to its ability to block the estrogen receptor once it's actually ingested. And the reason I believe this is because when estrogen receptors actually get activated in the body, there's a cascade of events that happen physiologically speaking. And some of the things that are included in that pathway include a suppression in fertility, a suppression in sexual desire, and even a suppression in testosterone, which actually brings me to my next point, which is that the fifth health benefit of Tungkat Ali is its ability to increase testosterone. Now, this study right here that was also performed in healthy subjects showed a modest increase in testosterone by 37%. Now, granted, these individuals were stressed, and so they did actually report some level of stress before the trial. However, they were otherwise healthy men, and so the exact mechanism on how Tunkat Ali uh, increases testosterone isn't super, super clear at this moment, but it does appear that there is a modest increase in testosterone in one um, individuals that are under an abnormally large level of stress. And then two, it does appear that there is an increase in testosterone because of its ability to block the estrogen receptor and to prevent estrogen from lowering production of testosterone. And now this study right here also showed an increase in testosterone of 46%. And now these men were hypogonadic, uh, meaning that they did not already previously have optimized testosterone production or testicular function. However, when you look at these two research studies and then also so kind of bring in some of the level of evidence of Tungkat Ali's ability to block the estrogen receptor, it does appear that Tungkat Ali might actually have the ability to decrease estrogen and increase testosterone simultaneously, independent of a previous health state. But again, this hasn't been tested in clinical trials in healthy individuals. And so these are just kind of my conclusions that I'm drawing from the evidence that we have available at this moment. Now, the last health benefit that we're going to talk about is Tungkat Ali's ability to actually increase lean mass and power output. Now, this study right here actually showed a remarkable ability of Tungkat Ali that was given to the participants in the study when compared to a control group. The participants that took the Tungkat Ali actually had twice as much of strength gains and lean mass gains at the end of the study when compared to the control group. Now, this is a fairly remarkable result and in my opinion, probably needs to be replicated in some further studies. However, with the preliminary preliminary evidence that we have already that Tonkat Ali is able to reduce estrogen, increase testosterone, and reduce stress. It's not out of the question to assume that it would also aid in lean mass gains and power output. Now, I will say that the participants that went through this specific study were on a weight training protocol, and so you're not going to be able to take something like this, sit on the couch, eat potato chips, and gain a bunch of muscle. However, Tungkat Ali may be a great option for those of you that are out there that are trying to optimize 
hormone production while also simultaneously going through a weight training or any type of training for that matter in order to improve and to some degree quicken your results. And so though we don't have a ton of just phenomenal clinical research right now at this point on the effects of Tung Cat Ali in the human body, we do have some really promising uh, clinical research and in vitro studies at this point that lead me to be very optimistic about future studies. And so for those of you that are out there that are trying to optimize your hormones for whatever reason, Tunkat Ali is a great option. But other than that, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.